Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here, kind of dramatic little pop of colour and I'm using a certain palette from another influencer who has just come out with her, well she hasn't just come out with her brand but she's come out with a new collection in her brand. It's the Dare To Be Different collection from H&B Cosmetics, um, otherwise known as, you know, Holly Bean, Holly Bean's brand, you know, which is cool. So if you want to see uh, how I got this look and what I thought of the palette then make sure to just keep watching. So today I'm going to be going with the new palette, I'm really excited to use this um, and I absolutely love the girl who owns the brand. So this is HMB Cosmetics, so it's Holly Boone's brand and she's done the Dare To Be Different palette and also some of the blushes and stuff as well. I got one of the blushes too, the peachy one, it's literally unreal. Um, and have a look at these shades. Like I am a girl who loves, like, don't get me wrong, I love my neutrals and you have your neutrals in here anyway, but I love to play with colour and this, oh my god, I took this on holiday and it was the only thing that I used, literally unreal because you literally had so many colours that you can use, it's literally a dream summer palette. So I'm going to start off going in with Rich which is the lighter brown shade and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to use this one from Iconic London and go into that and pop that in the crease because I want it to fade from like brown into that teal colour. Blended it really, really easily. And it's worked pretty well with that primer as well, actually. I really like that. Her shades are like, it's weird because they're really pigmented, but they're not, it's not like you pop it on your eye and you're like, oh shit, and then you've got to work for ages to blend it out. It's like it builds up really nicely. So next, I'm going to take the shade Chocolate, which is the deeper brown shade right here. I know that um, in, in quite a few of Holly's pictures, she uses this all over the lid and it looks so good. It's like a smoky eye. Oh. So I'm going to go in with chocolate, I'm going to take a slightly more precise fluffy brush, I'm going to take this one from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, it's the Jaclyn Hill 32 brush, it's just a little bit more tapered um, so it will keep it kind of in the lower portion of the crease and I'll always keep this uh, big fluffy brush on hand just to make sure that I go in and like blend that out, we don't want no harsh lines, no thank you. I'm just using little windscreen wiper motions and keeping that right in the lower portion of the crease and just kind of doing little circular motions just to blend that out. Kind of placing it in the middle and then blending out on either side. Because I feel like no matter if you're like a beginner in makeup or you're like a pro, you can work with these. There's like some eyeshadows which like, you can spend two hours on an eye look to make it work. But if you're a beginner, you're not gonna be spending two hours doing your eyeshadow, you know? Because this is like, you can literally be done in five minutes or you can spend two hours if you really want to, but you know, better get time for it. Alright, so I'm going to switch up the brush again to more of a kind of a flat shader brush. Um, this one's a little bit more on the fluffier side, so it can make it easier for us to blend it into the crease colour. So this is, oh my god, it's literally rubbed off. It's a Sigma E25, I believe. So um, this is, oh, the excitement, yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I get to use the Reef shade, the teal one. Mm. I just love, I love a bit of colour, love a bit of teal. I'm so excited. And all I'm going to do is pack that on and then I'll blend it out. I mean, it's literally, I've dipped in twice, it's so good. So freaking pretty. I like a lot. There's a little bit of fallout with the shade like in the pan but not on my face at all so literally don't care. What I'm going to do now before I go in with my lashes and do all of that is get a black eye pencil and I always like to tie line my lash line. I just like I always do this now and I feel like it looks weird if I don't. A bit torn with what lashes I want to go with today. They're both Lily lashes, duh obviously. But I've got either the Miami lashes or the Lush lashes. I just feel like the Miami's always look sick with any like smoky eyes, so I might go with that because they're super thick and like wispy and just like they're wispy enough where you see the lid shade, but they're thick enough to be like a bit dramatic, you know. And I feel like I've got my hoops on. I need to get a bit dramatic today, so I'm going to go home with um, the Lily lashes and the Style Miami, and I'm going to put a bit of Bad Girl Bang mascara on in uh, homage to Holly Boom because she always uses this one um, and I'll be right back because right, so I've got LVL like before I went on holiday 
and this is the first time I've put on false lashes after having it done and it's so hard. Oh my god. I mean I love I love the look of my lashes, natural, but Jesus Christ, that literally took me probably about 15 minutes when lashes normally take me about five, so oh, let's go on. Next. Let's just move on to skin. So, um, for primer, I'm actually going to go in with the Fast Sally Rose Gold Elixir. I love this stuff. It's really nice and hydrating. It's just, mm, it's just good and it smells unreal. Alright, so I'm actually tanned for a change. So I'm going to go in with my Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6 because it's the only foundation I currently have that matches me. So, which is great. I love it. So I'm just going to pop this on with the damp sponge. And for concealer, where's my concealer? I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer because it's my favorite. What I'm gonna do now, let's do a little bit of setting and baking. So I'm gonna take, this is just the RCMA No Color Powder, I just popped it in this little pot. Uh, I'm gonna take the damp sponge and I'm just going to set uh, where we did all that concealer. I find that if you set with the damp sponge, it just looks a lot more flawless and it lasts for so much longer. It kind of seeps into the skin and into the makeup rather than sitting on top of it. So I'm just going to set all of, all of my T-zone because I get really, really oily and this really helps keep everything in place otherwise it just slips around and I'm just going to do a bit of baking just to keep this area nice and bright right so while we're letting that bake I'm going to finish off uh, my eyes and I'm going to take the shade reef and that's going to be the first shade I'm going to put down going to do exactly what is on the top of our eyes. I'm going to take the shade chocolate with a fluffier pencil brush. Run that underneath. Then I'm just going to take this teal coloured eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. And then lastly for the eyes all I've got to do is put a bit of lower Lash mascara. So first, I'm gonna go in with this uh, Maybelline Fit Me uh, face powder. It's the Matte and Poreless, and this is in the shade 250 Sun Beige. So this is the foundation powder that I've been using since I've been a bit more tanned. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's so good and obviously really affordable because normally I use the Mac. Uh, Studio Fix powder, but this is so good. So this is just going to bring some warmth back into my face before we go in with some bronzer. Cute. So for bronzer, I'm just going to take my trusty old Too Faced Chocolate Solo Bronzer. Love it. And I'm going to take this little brush from Morphe. It's the Morphe M530. I'm not doing any structured nose contouring, I just want it to look bronzed. Oh my god, I haven't even done my inner corner highlight. Oh, stop it. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia uh, Umreezy highlighter. It's in my drawer, bear with, bear with, bear with. This is so good. I mean, it just changes the game. And for my cheekbones, I like to use the Anastasia A23 brush. I just keep building it up, oh, I just love a good glow. So now it's time for blush. I'm going to go in with the HMB Cosmetics Dare to be Different Blush in Feeling Peachy. Oh, is this not the best blush shade you've ever seen in your life? Because what I was actually doing before was using a pink blush and an orange blush and mixing them together to create my own peach. Now, I, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm dropping it everywhere. Now I have my own peachy shade dream and um, they are pretty pigmented but I use this sheer um, powder brush 
so it kind of goes on pretty sheer anyway. And then I just build it up. And I like to go over my nose a little bit. How good is that? If you don't like blush, what are you doing with your life? Oh, Holly, you've done it again. You're such a base. So I'm going to do my absolute favourite nude lip combo of the moment. If you don't know about this, get to know about it. So I'm taking the Unbutton Liquid Lipstick from Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty lip products are literally the best, honestly. It is pretty much all I took on holiday. I took a range because she literally has everything from nude all the way to like a bright pink and orange. Like, oh, so good. And they're so long lasting. And I'm going to go in with the uh, lip pencil from Morphe in the shade Sweet Tea. Now oh, we've got the lip liner down, I like to leave a little space in the middle and get that unbuttoned liquid lip shade, pop it in the middle and then I blend it out with my finger. So lastly, all we've got to do is set that in place. So this is the final look you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash kind of review of the um, HNB Cosmetics dare to be different kind of range well I only got two things out of the range but um, if the other blushes are anything like this one oh my god you need them in your life and this palette is everything literally everything and more if you don't love colour it's probably not the palette for you I'm not going to lie to you there's only a few neutral shades but these neutral shades are amazing um, I have also used the black as well um, while I was away honestly so good Holly if you're watching Thank you so much for bringing this into my life. It's so good. This shade is so good. I'm literally obsessed. So if you did like the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.